happy Independence Day and uh, I've come here and I've realized what this is because frankly when Dr. Firoza calls and says, if she says I'm having an event on Mount Everest, I'm going to be there, I don't even ask her what it is. So thanks for enlightening me as to what event I've come for and uh, Taran, um, sometimes we forget how uh, qualified uh, the women we move around with is. For me, Tarang has just been Rachit's mom because Rachit is in class with my son. Uh, thank you for inviting me here. Thank you. Uh, I've got my kids here today because they need to know how special they are, how special it is to be part of Dr. Firoza's family. Uh, it's a family that that is truly blessed. She's given us the greatest gift of our lives. I'm going to get very emotional here now. And uh, you know, it's important that we come and we proudly say we've had our children through assisted, uh, through IVF or through surrogacy or through donor eggs. It's important we come and we take pride in that because it just gives so much courage and so much uh, hope to people who want to do it but who are scared of doing it. So I proudly say my children are from IVF and no, Anya, the pizza man did not deliver you. <laughs> Dr. Firoza delivered you, so <laughs> on that note, doctor, I love you. If there's not a morning that goes by when I look at my kids and I bless uh, doctor and Rajesh, I love you even though you're denying that you've dyed your hair and it's natural hair. <laughs> um, really now. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you for, uh, for the excitement as always. May I now invite the one and only Mr. Amir Khan. He is the epitome of integrity, intelligence, commitment, and perfection. He was honored by the Government of India with the Padma Shri in 2003 and Padma Bhushan in 2010. Mr. Khan, you are a foremost a humanitarian, a great thinker, and an exemplary human being. The stage is yours. Thank you so much, wishing all of you a very happy Independence Day. Uh, you know, I'm certainly feeling that this is one thing I'd like to talk about, but not without Kiran. So can you join me, Kiran, on stage, please? We can speak together about this. You know, it's uh, such a joy to have a child in your life. Uh, it's something that really changes your life. I remember my mother used to tell me when I was a kid, that when you're a parent, then you will realize what it is to be like a parent. And I used to always wonder, what is she saying? I mean, what, what can be so different? Sorry. But she was so right. When I had my first child, Junaid, uh, it was, it just changed me, it just changed my life. And, and there are so many uh, parents out there, so many people out there, so many even single parents out there who are unable to have a child. And the fact that Dr. Firoza and Jaslok is able to give this joy to so many people out there is, is really wonderful. I think they've, they've really changed the lives of so many people and I really thank them for that. Yeah, actually I was telling Amir as we were on our way here, I don't know what I did for those, I don't know, 20 years before Azad was born. Uh, my life is so full now. I feel um, so thankful and so humbled by, by uh, the joy and the complete you know, the completeness that uh, he makes me feel. And um, really none of it would have been possible without Firoza. Uh, we had a lot of trouble uh, having a child, trying to have a child. <laughs> and, um, and I really didn't think it would be possible to uh, have a baby. And then of course, angelically Firoza appeared and found this way for us. So there is no, there are no words to thank her. Uh, and as Farah said, you know, we wake up every morning um, blessing her and thanking her. And uh, this center is going to be that place of hope for so many parents who want to have children. Uh, we thank you, Firoza. We thank Jaslok Hospital for bringing it to Mumbai, to give, for giving us a center like this. And I think you said international, so I'm assuming you're going to spread your wings outside of uh, India. Um, Firoza has done this 
selflessly for so many years, whether it's working in Kashmir, uh, working for pe poor women in India, in Bombay. She's done it with the love and passion of someone who does it as a vocation and not a profession. And uh, I think she deliver, deserves a really, not just a, a, like a standing ovation for the work she's done. You know, uh, <clears throat> uh, of course, Azad was born because of Firoza and her uh, and her help that she brought in. But uh, my relationship with Jaslok is even older than that because both my children, earlier children, Junaid and Ira, were both born in Jaslok Hospital uh, with Dr. Mansukani. So I'm missing her today. I wish she was here. <laughs> uh, but uh, just to complete, I think we'd both like to wish uh, uh, Jaslok Fertile Tree all the very best. And once again, we thank Firoza and uh, Jaslok for bringing such joy into our lives and, and offering the same joy to so many people. Thank you so much and all the very best. You know, there's one more thing I want to say. I want to talk about Tushar here. I think, Tushar, what you've done is really amazing. Uh, the, you know, the courage that you've shown, the dignity that you've shown, the grace that you've shown is, is really something that will affect a lot of people in a very positive way and really, uh, again, in your own actions, you'll bring a joy to a lot of people's lives. Thank you. Mr. For today. Light, light. speech likhi hai acha light bada ne bola ya band karne bola yaar are wo was to bring to Mumbai an ultra modern medical in the late 60s when the establishment of large private hospitals was not common one family decided to take a bold step in a new direction their vision was to bring to Mumbai an ultra-modern medical facility with quality health care for one and all. Our founders, Jasothi and Lokumal Chanrai, wanted to ensure that the best medical treatment was provided for almost every citizen of India, regardless of their caste, creed or financial ability. Say Chanrai's vision was brought to reality by his brother-in-law. Under the medical guidance of Dr. Shantilal Mehta. Chaslok Hospital and Research Center was inaugurated on 6 July 1973 by the erstwhile Prime Minister, Mrs. Indira Gandhi. Today, Chaslok is a full fledged multi speciality hospital with 364 beds, 35 established specialities and 265 consultants with 140 fully trained doctors. We have six centers of excellence at Jaslok and one of them is our department in assisted reproduction. This department is very special to all of us at Jaslok including the management and the trustees and the patients primarily because of two reasons. Firstly, because it creates lives, it creates happiness, it spreads hope. And secondly, because it has Dr. Firoza Parik. Dr. Firoza Parik has been associated with Justin Hospital for almost 27 years now. And I'm sure she has played a great part in shaping up this institution 
and the center of excellence. Dr. Feroza Payek is probably the most admired doctor that we have today because she has a total patient-centric approach. Because of that, her patients love her. Because of that, as a CEO, I admire her for the fact that she will go to any mile to ensure that her patient is happy. As I look back at my journey in assisted reproduction at the Slow Hospital over the last 27 years, I'm filled with amazement, excitement, and gratitude. I'm grateful to God for what He has given me. I'm grateful to my team at Jaslo Hospital, the management of Jaslo, who have always been very supportive, my dear patients and my dear family. When we started the department in 1989-1990, I was assigned a small area of a balcony on the 8th floor of Jaslo Hospital. Slowly over the years, as patients started flowing in, they came from every state of India and 60 countries all over the world. The hospital saw the effect that this had and they gave us more space. As we look forward to the birth of our 10,000th baby, we are filled with joy, excitement and the zest to help more and more patients. My team of 40 hardworking, dedicated and unique individuals are there 7 days a week, 24-7 throughout the year. We are dedicated to the care of patients who come here with the hope of becoming parents. I was inspired by Dr. Alan Dichoni, my chairman, as when I was doing a fellowship at Yale, and my mentor, who would be there for rounds in the hospital every day of the week, come what may, at 5 a.m. in the morning. This made me feel how important it is to devote and dedicate time to patients. Our IVF department has always been on the forefront of medical research globally. This has been accomplished thanks to the medical director starting from Dr. R.D. Lele and currently with Dr. Karam, who is a model of efficiency. As we have been associated with Dr. Feroza Parent for the last 27 years, it's time for us to take this association to the next level. Dr. Feroza Parent and Chesluk have decided to collaborate and form a new venture. This venture is called Chesluk Fertility. And the main idea behind this venture is to take Dr. Feroza's skill set 